Hey, welcome back to another episode of Rogue Tech. So, in the process of working on getting another group of uh, mechs work, working here, um, we've got a long time to spend before we can actually get our lances up and fixed and up and running and everything, and that's going to take us past our next financial report. So we're definitely going to need to get some uh, more cash here before we do anything. Now, I could sell stuff, which I'm planning on doing, but I'm thinking the best way to do that is to take another mission here. Um, and I think we're going to do the Letter of Mark mission. Um, it's relatively easy. It's just basically taking on a small pirate um, battalion that's still operating um, in behind um, Marion uh, Hegemony lines here. So it's just going in and, and went hunting these guys down and destroying them. So we're just going to negotiate a battle here, and we're going to go for pretty much all the maximum cash here. So this is going to be a cash-only battle. We're going in to destroy everybody. So what we're going to do is we're going to do a mixed lance battle here. We're going to leave the uh, butcher out for now. We're gonna let. Uh, we're gonna bring in the hunchback. We're gonna bring in the wolverine, and we're gonna leave payroll out, and we're gonna bring in Jasper's out of action right now. Um, we had to discipline him and put him, um, confine him to barracks. So we're gonna bring in Vein Skater with the hunchback. We're gonna leave Voodoo in the Vindicator for now. Um, we got the wolverine up and running. We're gonna get height here, and then we're gonna bring. Um, actually, let's put height in here. And then um, let's take ground zero, I guess. Actually, you know what? Let's leave payroll in because she's going to need some more experience to to keep leading the team. So we're going to leave her in, uh, and we're going to take this this uh, lance here. We're going to go and utterly destroy these guys. Let's do this. All right, here we go. Mixed lance, form X on the ground. So let's go move in here and punish these guys. So we might end up facing two lances. What a hole. Uh, there might be a re another lance that comes in from over here, but um, this is a uh, basically a, a, a very low skull mission, so we should be just fine here. Uh, we're going to move in, take some cover. I'm not going to bother reserving. We just want to get this battle underway. So I've thought about it, what we're planning on doing with our um, current loadout of mechs, and I'm thinking what we're going to do is I'm bringing three mechs forward. We've got um, that new Griffin. So I'm thinking right, that the idea of the light lance was to have four um, that, light mechs going for the pirate lance. But I think probably what we'll end up doing yep. is um, there will be four, but it'll be three lights. And I think I'm moving the butcher down to be the command mech for that, um, simply because it gets advanced movement. So everyone will still be going on turn four. And I'm going to move forward the Venom. I'm going to move forward the Panther 9L and I'm going to move forward the um, fire starter. Yeah, so we got reinforcements here. We're going to have reinforcements. Three and three, probably. Uh, maybe four and four, we'll see. So that's gonna, that's my idea for the uh, pirate lance. And I'm going to try and outfit it like the mechs were originally meant to be outfitted. So the Panther 9L, I'm going to, since it's got the quirk of advanced plasma output, we're probably going to yeah. run um, it with a plasma cannon. Not a big, pl not a big plasma cannon f uh, fan because of the drop off, but um, we're going to run it that way. So let's just do this here. Minimum number of guys seeing us. So we got a hunchback. We got a vindicator 1R with almost no armor. Hunchback, short range hunchback. Okay, so we're going to fire straight on this vindicator. Let's get rid of him first, since he's standing in our way. So that's the goal for that. So what's going to replace the butcher? I think most likely we will move. Um, I've got eyes on hostile. I know there's hostile reinforcements. I think this hunchback is going to move back um, a hit as the command mech in the secondary lance. So payroll will be uh, piloting the hunchback, and the new mech that we just got, the new Griffin, I think will be piloted by Vein Skater. Moving out. Just gonna move forward here. Let's give this guy a, a heavy Gauss rifle shot and let's see how he can handle it. Roger. Yeah, not very well, I guess. Sorry, buddy. Um, so yeah, so we'll move the hunchback back. The heavy Gauss rifle will most likely stay in the main lance because the main lance is definitely going to be hitting hard in the um, uh, four, four and a half skull areas. So let's see if we can take this hunchback out here. Let's move forward. 
Um, so yeah, they're going to be hitting in the four, four and a half skull area still. So we're s definitely still going to need to have um, hardcore punching up there. So the new Griffin might end up um, taking on that uh, heavy PPC, but we'll see. We'll have to refit some stuff. It might be the Warhammer. I don't know. Um, I don't think the yeah the Warhammer's got two um, ballistic hard points, one on each side of the torsos. All right, but yeah, then I think the second lance is going to have an LRM boat, a uh, short range boat, then the probably either maybe an Ultra 20, maybe Clan Ultra 20 Hunchback for the main commander, and uh, we'll see how it goes. So there's a wolf found. We can get some good components off this guy. Once again, like I said, I'm not. Uh, I'm not here to get components because I'm. We're only going to get zero of two, so we're here to just blow people up and get out of here. Okay, what are you doing? Yeah, far away. You're going down here in a minute. It's fine. Okay, so. They've got a light. Here comes the wolfhound. Probably gonna punch. A lot of people like wolfhounds. I don't mind them so much. They got a lot of good, good gear in them, but they run really hot. So it's not really um, my kind of mech. So let's get Van Skater. Um, let's get you over here in the trees. We're gonna fire on the um, hunchback here. We don't want to waste the heavy Gauss rifle on the. Uh, Wolf found, but apparently we'll waste it on dust over there. All right, uh, let's get payroll next. What do you need? And teach the, this guy that it's not a good idea to run up and behind people or run up in melee, especially when you don't have cover, covering fire from everybody else. I wish it would have been a le better lesson, but apparently not. But it's definitely a lesson that Hyde can teach here. Let's get right up behind this guy. Affirmative, Commander. Let's get the ATMs on him. Oh yeah, I keep forgetting this guy's got uh, ECM and stuff too, right? So let's leave the ATM. Well, let's leave him on. We don't have to really that worry that much about it. Ah, oh, one hit. It's really a waste of time to try and try and target this guy. But we're behind the hill away from the uh, hunchback here, so... Okay, Voodoo, let's get you back over here. Forget about that guy for now. It's a chance to hit here. 33, 46... Um... Hmm... Hmm, I say... Let's get in here. Yeah, I should've walked. Oh well. Uh, gonna fire on this guy. Make him think twice about I his life. Okay, let's see what they do here. Yeah, there's going to be eight mechs, unfortunately. A lot longer battle than I thought it was going to be. Okay, so this wolfhound's going to go first. He's probably going to run out of here. If he's smart. Hunchback, trying to hide. Can you blame him? Actually, that's not hiding very well. Uh, minimal damage on that hit. Okay, so let's see what this wolfhound does. Making a break for it. Better turn your better turn around, buddy. All right, Vane Skater, let's get up here. Let's get some eyes on that guy. What do we got back here? We got a crab, a killer crab. Regular crab. So we fire on him or this guy. We're going to fire on the crab. If we get lucky, we take this guy right out. Let's do this. Nope. Oh my god, <laughs> we took his head off. <laughs> okay, we did get lucky. I, I actually meant with the uh, 
gas rifle, but I'll take that. That's fine. I can work with that. All right, let's get up here. Let's make this quick. Let's uh, give this hunchback some ATMs. Some ATM love. Turn off the one medium laser, fire everything else. Well, actually, you know what? It's really a bad range for him. So if we fire on this guy, 19, what's the percentage here? 24, not much better. Let's leave the ATMs off. Going to fire the three medium lasers maybe in the back of this guy. Hunchback. How much do you got left in the center? 52? If we hit with three, we can kill him. Oh, God, you can't even do that. So we didn't even hit, hit his CT. So it looks like we're facing all mediums except for the one one uh, wolf found. Let's get, let's get her up here. Uh, we're going to fire on him, leave the LRMs off. Hopefully we hit the CT, but we'll find out. Getting close though. Oh, he's bailing out. You know, if we needed salvage, this would have been a great message, mission for salvage. But uh, we don't really need it. I mean, we always need salvage, good salvage, yep. but, uh... So this main lance is almost gone. Uh, a little better chances to hit now than we had before, I think, but we're gonna fire everything. Alright. He's probably oh gonna keep yeah. running. It's enough to make him worried. Oh, Stingray! It's form you, you see it come around the corner, it's formidable, then you realize it's like only 45 tons or something. Yeah, 45. Like, oh, it's a mini catapult. Oh, getting that last shot in, are you? Alright. Fair enough. Losing lots of armor. Don't worry, so see. Oh, multi-target. Multi-pass. Wow. Okay. Pushing them heat levels. Alright, let's go with um, payroll first. Hmm. Interesting question. We could turn our back to the enemy, but that's not really... Eh, let's live dangerously. We want this done fast. Probably have a good chance to hide from those guys up there, so I'm not that worried. Turn off the small... Oh, pulse. Um, small and an SRM-6. The pulse lasers have better chance to hit and pen. So let's see if we can kill this guy. I have the advantage. Oh, damn. Scored a critical hit. Thought we had it there for a second. Okay, another mech moving in. Four mediums. So, a medium and an ultra something or other. That's interesting. Good to go. They're loving you, Voodoo, for some reason, so let's get you um, here. Move order received. Just walk it over, get your stability back. Stingray is going to be really hard to hit. What about this guy? Yeah, pretty hard too. Um, do we have lots of LRMs? We do. So let's just fire these on this guy. Eh, wasn't expecting much out of that. Alright, Height. Let's see what we can do here. I think we need to kill this guy first before we do anything. They're almost finished moving, so let's do this. And we'll move you first next turn. So let's do this, and we'll fire again with just these. Saving the ATMs. Are you serious? Well, that goes to show you that evasion is probably better than bulwark, because those other guys were bulwark, they were killed, but this guy's moving in is evasive, and is like staying alive. Uh, let's move... So what's the chance to hit from here. Not very good. 29, 8, wow. So let's move forward. Me there. 
We're going to leave our Gauss rifle off for now. No real chance of it hitting anyway. And take off the ER medium. Just fire the two pulse lasers. Couple hits. See what he does. Let's hope he makes, tries to make a break for it anyway. Yeah, good luck with that. So we're going to move height first after this uh, guy moves. Since that guy up there didn't move very far. He's going to get punished by height. I mean, the other thing, too, is I guess we could, um... He's got three chevrons of evasion, though. So what does this heavy PPC Bye. got chance to hit for this guy? 32. Not very good. Sorry, heavy Gauss rifle. Uh, height, if we move up... Hmm. 30% chance with the ATMs, eh? I mean, we'll get a chance to see what we're else, we're, uh, else we're up against. Hmm. We need to move him first because his back is facing them, so we're going to do this. Move in close. What else do we have here? Shadowhawk 2C. Yikes. Okay, this guy's the target first because he's easier to hit. We're going to fire with everything. Okay. So the 2C has got to go down hard. He's got lots of evasion though. So Height's going to move back next turn. He's got tons of evasion too. So let's get um, Payroll here. moving first because you have your back to the enemy. And let's get around here. Going to shoot this guy in the back again. And we're going to do the same thing medium pulses and the SRM-6. Actually, should we? Yeah, we'll do it. I want to make sure we kill him. There we go. So one threat down. Mech destroyed. Okay, so... We want to get out of the firing line of that guy on the hill. So let's track to the right a bit with Voodoo. Yeah, Commander. We don't want to go too far right. Um, we don't want to Let's go. be in range of the Shadowhawk 2C, but we have a far better chance of hitting this guy here. So, we're going to fire... Let's fire everything. We're okay with heat-wise. We got lucky we didn't, we didn't do well here. Nope. Stingray's taken off. Chicken! Chicken. Up, so we're down to four on four now. Let's Burn. move the hunchback over here. What's the chance to hit? Pretty good with the pulses, comparatively. So we're just going to fire two pulse lasers. So let's see what they do here. Is he going to come down immediately, or is he going to try for a rear attack? Well, that's interesting. Okay. Interesting. Armor breach. Yeah, Internal I hear you. Damage. Ready to rock. I'm there. Okay, we're going to move over here. Getting out of the way of those guys up there as best we can. And we're going to say hello to this guy from behind. With everything. Okay, a little bit of exposed structure there. Uh, what is that on? Question. Both of his torsos. Oh, we blow through too. Okay, cool. So we're going to circle behind this guy. Alright, let's get um, Voodoo Make first. Green Animal means go. Let's do this. And we'll fire everything. Okay, fusion core crit. Solid connection on that one. It was. Okay, what's he got? LRM five. All right. So our other trebuchet um, payroll. We're gonna move back, and we're gonna move Bane Skater up first. 
can get behind this guy again. Let's see what our Goss Rifle chance to hit is. 38. We're going to engage it. We got lots of, uh... We got lots of, um, ammo, so... There we go. Another problem solved. Let that be a lesson to you, people. Just because you've got a good mech doesn't mean you can get in to get your back attacked and survive. Aye, aye. Okay, so that was an arm blow through. So let's get you... let's walk. Um, where can we go here? Let's walk up here, get in the woods, Understood. get some stability back, and we're going to fortify here. We're going to move up next turn. So they're, they're down to three now. And Height's going to show you how to do your job. Confirmed. This is what we do, people. This is our job. Stingray target. Uh, leaving off one medium laser, firing everything else. Here we go. Okay, got his arm. What's this guy? This guy's a regular uh, vindicator. And what's our other guy over here? Hunchback. Punchback. He's coming in for a punch. 4H. Okay. So it's the AC-10. Stingray's lost a plasma cannon. Vindicator is just a regular Vindicator with like no armor. Uh, Commander. All right, Voodoo. Um, let's put some Voodoo on these guys. On my way. Double time. So we're just gonna move up here, see if we can knock off this Stingray. We'll leave the LRMs off and fire everything else. Engaging with target. Nope. Wasn't expecting much. Negative damage. Okay. Stingray's moving in. See, that's not a bad play right there, right? My heat sink can't vent fast He's keeping enough. his one side I'm away. I'm here. So we want to make sure that our right side's protected here. We're going to move forward. Acknowledged. It's kind of protected there. Going to fire straight on this guy. Um, going to unload with everything. Hope you connect with a few All things. Okay. A little bit of damage. He's just so darn evasive, right? So let's get Vanskater in to a position where we can take on the Hunchback, I think. Hmm. I'll be able to knock this guy off. Let's just walk over here. Save a little bit of heat that way. Um, and we're going to fire on the Stingray, I think. Going to go with the Heavy Goss and everything else. Here you go. Might get lucky with that Heavy Goss, but not always possible. Solid connection on that one. Okay, so they go now. The Stingray is like down to almost nothing, so he's got to run. Ah, he's going to stay and fight. Okay. Good job, buddy. All right, height. Skipper. Notorious. Uh, really bad back armor for the hunchbacks, so we're going to come around behind him. And we're going to unload onto his rear. Well, this looks bad. Goodbye. Mental note, if you're a hunchback pilot, either max out your back armor, or don't ever get into a position where the enemy can shoot you from behind. Vindicator 1AA is like one of the worst Vindicators, so he's got like no armor. Um, voodoo. Ready for order. Let's give this guy a voodoo curse. Heading out. Gonna put it right on this guy here. Leave the PPC off. We'll fire the LRMs and the S and the uh, ER medium. Come on, people. Let's clean this up. Standing by. Payroll. Walking up. Same idea. We're gonna shoot on the Stingray again. Acknowledged. He's taking a lot of punishment so far. Let's fire everything. I'm taking a shot. Let's finish this guy up. Let's get this done, team. Right arm, right torso. Got past the armor. He's not bailing out though. What's he got left? One medium pulse laser. Good to go. Gonna move up here. Now Band Skater does not have multi target. Oh he does. Who is it that doesn't have multi target? Is it height? I think so. 
So we're going to target this guy and this guy. Heavy Goss. Well, we'll put it on A, why not? And these on B. Ah, we can't fire that. Let's fire these. Roger that. Goodbye. Is that 165 damage? I think it was. Alright, see what they're doing here. Sorry, let's see what he's doing here. Or she. Depends on who it is. Or they. Or them. Okay. Height, once again. Roger, Skipper. Show this guy how we do things back downtown. Leave off one. Whoa, let's go with the medium lasers and leave the ATMs off. Let's fire these. Target locked. Enemy let's make this guy drop a load in his no pants. Alright, Voodoo, just walk it in. See if we can use a PPC on him. We want to go more pinpoint because this guy's got like no armor. Engaging. All we need is a hit to blow him up. And Convenient Skater will go Fire. last. Position confirmed. It almost makes you want to, you know, some of the games I've played, you know, depending on who hits, they get the experience. So I keep kind of thinking that way, right? Rather than just finishing them off. Alright, see if we can burrow through his side here. I wonder if we should just do this. Let's just do this. Gonna go for the side. Actually, you know what? Let's go for CT. Let's leave off ER medium. Fire everything else, and... Even if we miss, there we go. We're just going to push him back a turn, but it doesn't matter. That's off. it for them. Eight up, eight down. Mission successful. Alright, so that was a quick almost million in C-Bills. We had to cover our drop costs. And we had a little bit of a blow through in the trebuchet's arm. Not much we could do about that. We were kind of outnumbered, so... Wow, Hunchback got five kills. Excellent. And there's our assigned salvage. We got a Shadowhawk 2C part. Excellent. We got five now. Cool. And a heat sink. Not big deal. So 37,000 in repairs. Not bad. Okay, so that got us the money we needed to make it through the next uh, financial report, plus be able to outfit our mechs. Um, it's going to take a lot of cash and a lot of time to do that. But the wonderful, th wonderful thing about having multiple lances now is the ability to just mix and match and go down and do a couple of quick missions to be able to get cash to be able to get everybody else up and running. So I think what we'll do next episode, if we go to our base real quick, we're going to get all of our mechs kind of back to kind of how they were, I think, between episodes. Um, so, you know, we'll repair this guy. I'm not sure why he needs repairing, but he needs something. Um, but we're going to repair all our guys, and then what we'll end up doing is... Um, figuring out how our lances are going to be, uh, who's going to be where, and then we'll bring up our new lance of mechs once we get these guys up and running. Bring up our new pirate lance, and we'll worry about them last. Uh, our rogue tech, main rogue tech guys can get back into battle. Um, I want to get back into some four and four and a half skull missions with our main lance. Um, I find it's been quite a while since we've been able to fight, you know, really, really uh, tough mechs. So, in spotting that Atlas a few episodes ago, I'm really, inter I'm really um, interested in getting into some hardcore fights with, uh, you know, medium heavy lance against the salts. So, yeah, so that's what we're planning on doing. So next episode will be a refit a episode. And um, if you're liking the series, please leave a like, and feel free to subscribe. And I'll see you all again next time.